Hi, this is Bart from Quilt Sandwich, and I have some exciting news to share with you today. We have an exciting new feature for Quilt Sandwich. We have partnered with another app called CH Mosaic, which is available for purchase on the Apple App Store, and it pixelates pictures. So now, if you use CH Mosaic and Quilt Sandwich, you can create a pixel quilt. Have you ever been put off by editing photos or creating the pixels themselves out of the picture, selecting colors, block layouts, and fabric yardages? Oh my gosh, it makes my head hurt just to think about how complicated a pixel quilt can be. But because of this partnership between CH Mosaic and Quilt Sandwich, you will be able to create a pixel quilt very easily. The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to select your picture. I already have one selected, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my app CH Mosaic. And there is the picture that I have selected. You can choose a copyright free image off the internet or you can take your own photo. Up in the top left hand corner where it says photo, you would have taken a picture off the camera roll. If you tap camera, you can take a picture of something within the CH Mosaic app itself. So this is the picture that I have chosen and down at the bottom there is a slider and you can see that it says the number 36. That's the number of squares. As I move this slider, you can see that the number of tiles or pixels increases. So you can kind of play with how many you want to use. And then when you decide on a good number, and I think I'm just going to randomly pick 46, I'm going to tap the word mosaic. And there you can see that my picture has been pixelated. And right now I have 12 colors that are selected, and you can see that by the slider that's on the bottom. And as I move this slider to the right, the number of different color variations that appear in my picture are pixelated as well. Now one little tip I want to give you is that when you first come into CH Mosaic, if you don't see the slider when you've chosen the mosaic button, that's because the limit button has been turned off. Do you see up here in the right hand corner where it's blue and you don't see the color slider anymore? That's because the color options have not been selected. Just go ahead and tap limit. And there's the slider bar and you can see that the color slider is available. I don't have too many different colors in my stash. So I'm going to stay with 11 colors on my picture. So now that I have chosen um, my picture and I like what I see, I think I'm going to send it over to sandwich to create my pixel quilt. So I'm going to tap the share button in the top left hand corner. And there, down at the bottom, it says share with other apps. So I'm going to tap that. And you can see where it says copy to quilt sandwich. Let's go ahead and tap that. And here's a little pop-up menu that allows you to tell sandwich how you want to make your quilt. You can see that there is a picture of the quilt. It's 46 by 31 tiles or 46 by 31 you know squares and it has 11 different colors in it. Right now because my square size is one inch, my piece size, my quilt is 46 inches by 31 inches. The patchwork block is the size of the block made up of the one inch pieces. So you can change your square size to be two inches. I'll just do that here because that's kind of a nice size to work with. And you can see that my overall size is now 92 inches by 62 inches. My patchwork block is still five squares by five squares. But because my squares are now two inches, my block is going to finish at 10 inches. I think that's a pretty good size. I'm going to put that quilt up in my grandson's bedroom. So now I'm going to enter in the quilt name, and I'm just going to call it Color Pencil. Tap Import. It's sending the information over to Quilt Sandwich. And now I'm just going to tap Quilts. 
And look at that, there is the color pencil quilt. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. And there you can see the picture, the overall information about the quilt. And down at the bottom of the screen, you can see all of the fabrics or the color tiles that came over from CH Mosaic. So you can see that there are 11 different fabrics and you can tell it's a fabric because it has a color tile, but also down underneath the color, do you see where it says on color number 11, color 8820236? That's the RGB number. So if you were an artist, you would be more familiar with those numbers. But that's the fabric name for our purposes. So when you select your fabrics to make your quilt, you may want to go in and change that RGB number to be a fabric name that you recognize. And then you can see that Sandwich has said how much material you need for backing and batting and how many yards you need for binding to create a straight binding. Now each one of these fabric tiles has a number. Did you see where they were numbered 1 through 11? That um, coordinates with the journal information or the pattern that was created when it came over from CH Mosaic. This information is found in the journal. So let's go ahead and open the journal. And then let's just go to preview so you can see it a little bit better. Here's a picture of the quilt. Here's some information about the size. It was created by using a 46 by 31 pixel design. The squares are two inches. So the overall size is 92 by 62 and there's no border on this quilt. We used 11 different colors, and each color was assigned the index number. And the reason that's important is because when you go down here to the uh, block construction diagram, you can see where each one of the index numbers is now shown as a piece number. So block number one is made up of a 10 by 10 finish size square of white fabric. If you go down here to block number 11, you'll probably want to do some piecing so that you get the green um, shown in the segments that you need in the pixels to make the overall color pencil quilt. So each one of the blocks is laid out so you can see exactly how each one is constructed. And you can just go ahead and blow that up on your phone or on your iPad. And here is this top diagram is the overall diagram of how all of the different blocks fit together. And below that is the detail. So the journal provides a lot of information for you about the pixel quilt. Don't want to make you dizzy there. Now if you decide that you want to add a border for your quilt, you'll want to go back to the quilt itself and go ahead and change the dimensions for the quilt to include a border and the border calculations will be done for you and then the binding calculations will be done as well. There's a fabric list that you can use at the cutting table or to print out or to use to keep track of your fabrics and you can see how many yards you need and the number of squares that need to be cut out of each fabric. And you can go over to the pattern section and you can build your um, patterns as a single PDF, which is what I'm doing right now. And we'll just go ahead and open that up. And you'll get not only the journal entries, which we looked at, you know, before. And here's the fabric list that I showed you. And now here is the cutting diagrams for all of the different pieces. So you can see what was added for allowances and things like that. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to start creating my own pixel quilt now that it is just so easy to go ahead and create 
um, a picture that you can edit within your phone or your iPad. You can find uh, information online about how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Just a single tap, you can send it over to Sandwich and your quilt is pixelated and you have all of your fabric requirements. That is just so exciting. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick demo of how to make a pixel quilt using CH Mosaic and Quilt Sandwich. And if you decide to make a pixel quilt, we'd sure like to see them posted on our Facebook page, Quilt Sandwich app. Have fun!